Sorry, guy. They're going to good use. Your family. Okay, bye. Hey guys, it's me, Joe. Welcome back to Casual Craft. So, uh, you may have noticed from the thumbnail, I have some things to show you guys because I have been grinding. That's almost all of what I've been doing for the last two weeks is just grindy, 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 grind work. So, before we get to that, I kind of want to do something to help me stay organized with all of this grinding. And that's going to be, we're going to convert this workshop room here and make it actually a workshop instead of just a hole cut out of the ground. But the reason for that is so that we can actually stay organized with our projects because we'll have lists, because I love lists, and We'll move the map to the wall instead of the middle of the floor, and it's going to be pretty awesome. I have a pretty good, I good idea how I'm going to do it, and the floor is going to be some alternating blast furnace tiles, because I do love the texture that's on top of those things. Um, I don't know necessarily what I want to do for the ceiling, but I'm kind of thinking, I've been looking for an excuse to use the smithing table as a ceiling, because the... The bottom texture on the smithing table, I think, is just this. I got all the maps right. Yep. This, like, s just super, super gorgeous um, burgundy-ish color. Okay, we got to pull the wall out one anyways, so that'll work. And we're four high. So we'll just come through and pop all these on. We'll get the maps back up. We'll cut the floor out. We'll get the floor, new floor in. And then we'll kind of decide what we want to do as far as like the spacing in the walls and um, may or may not get some decoration right now. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'm going to get started on this. We'll kind of take a look at where we're at with that and then uh, we'll go walk around the island a little bit. I think I'm going to go walk and get the maps all updated real quick too. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. Alright, map is updated. Um, I will have to go back and do it again in this region because I really prefer for the there it not to be full of trees when I update it. Well, actually, you know what? I think originally that was my idea because it was before I had the idea to put these fences up to keep them from getting too tall and stuff. So it just looked wild over here. Now it looks a lot more manageable. I kind of dig that actually with trees in it. I like that a little better. But I had expanded this out a little bit, and that's another part of the grindy bit I got to show you. Um, there's a beacon on the roof right now, so that one will get redone, but that's fine. Uh, over here, this is a, this is a big part of what I need to show you. So here we go. I think we have, uh, something that we can work with. Uh, I was kind of playing around. Well, like, I did this, because I already said I was going to do this, but it occurred to me, like, I hadn't really checked out the texture on the smoker at all. And the back and side texture is pretty nice. I kind of like that. Like it wouldn't, I don't think it would do good as like a full panel. That's why I use it just sort of as like a kind of a pillar every now and again to break stuff up. And a uh, slightly different texture with the barrels and the walls. But this, this ceiling, I like this a lot. Um, now I will say, it might be kind of cool to do it with like a, I don't know, maybe an acacia or a jungle and like bump it up one in the middle and let it like, one of those wood, a stair sort of molding to bump it up further so that you can hide the side texture of it. But even still, like, I, I'd like this. this is such a good ceiling block. I really like this. I might be crazy, but... So anyways, we got our work workshop set up here. I'm going to grab uh, some signs, and uh, we're going to get a little list going. Oh, I also moved in. I made another zoomed out one so that we can continuously sort of see from where we started 
I wish I had thought of it before I had started converting, but that's all right. And these are locked. Uh, cool. Okay, cool. Let's get some signs. Let's make some lists. Okay, so I just discovered that the hopper minecart under the main farm area uh, wasn't spending enough time on the hoppers. So it was just full of seeds and wheat. So we're going to have to fix that. So what I'm going to do is something kind of like what we have the furnace, but kind of the opposite. So instead of like releasing the minecart to go when it's got stuff in it and then a delay timer, we're going to keep this off and have a sensor that will detect when it's empty. And then when it's empty, this, this uh, piston is going to be pushing... Uh, redstone block over to power this so that then it can start going again so that is not where that goes and that would have broken everything it goes right here all right guys so here we go gonna have a good test um, well I might still have a loop or two so we uh, yeah I just came over here where I had more room to work and now it's 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 literally a reverse of what's at the top of the thing so there we go it rolls in. If it's empty, it goes. If it's full, it stays until it's empty. Pretty straightforward. So, I guess, in theory, it's empty somehow right now. Yeah, okay, cool. So, it's probably just night time, so the dudes haven't farmed anything, and there's nothing laying around. Plus, it's done a few... I did a few test runs to get it going. But, uh, yeah, finally. That's good. <laughs> now, we can get back to uh, the other farms now. Okay, so we got the uh, groundwork is in place for everything now. All of the, this is going to be the little hut for the potato farmers. And this is where the potato farm area is going to, the potato farm terrace will be. All right, and there's, this is going to be completely self-contained. So in their little hut, we're going to have beds for those farmers. And this is basically the only place that we'll ever be able to go. Um, here, this is, um within this boundary out to those is going to be the carrot farm area this is going to be the largest bit um, but like just like I did with the wheat we just kind of picked a square underneath to run the hopper minecart uh, because you know, I'm not going to make it do all kinds of crazy turns and stuff I don't want it to get stuck and it feels like the crazier the turns you give it the more it gets stuck so yeah here we go um, I tried to kind of preemptively get ahead of the problem that I just fixed over there under the wheat farm by having a line of hoppers run here so it's like constantly crossing over it hopefully dropping stuff off comes down and this goes straight down here into a dropper this so and then this long stretch here is going to be a self-contained system for beet roots and this will be the little beetroot farmers house thing here um, and so that'll be self-contained. They'll have their own little beds in here, and this is all they'll ever know. The carrot farmers are the only ones that are going to be an exception. So, like, they're going to have a, there's a little hut that's going to sit up here. They're going to come down, and we're going to try and utilize the back half of this room here, uh, or of this entrance, because most of the wheat farmers, like all these guys, they're just stuck back here. There's still composters out there they could take, but the composters are too far away, apparently too far away, for them to see them and use them. So. So yeah, so that's what we're going with, uh, and I'm gonna s keep placing some stuff now. Oh. Oh right. Okay, yeah, sure. Don't go away. We'll put this here and then this here. Haha. <laughs> oh look at that. Whoa, the second, the second that these guys saw that they had a path, they locked onto some composters. That's crazy, dude. Oh, no, they locked onto these barrels over here. That's what it is. They're fishermen. I thought it looked kind of strange. Yeah, so, the, I mean, these are going to come down before we release them to come up here so that they only see the composters. But that's still, that's still like, that's super crazy. That's hopefully good validation that they'll be able to see the composters in this field. All right, anyway, so I'm going to get back at it.
So we lost a few clips in the process of this. Um, my somehow my record and stop recording buttons got reversed. So uh, had some random eight-hour grindy bits recorded instead of the you know short clips for you guys. But uh, in the end, I wound up reversing what I was talking about doing with uh, where the beet roots are and where the potatoes are. Uh, and that was just because the potatoes are, I guess, a little more valuable to me, and the beet roots and the beet root seeds, I'm basically just turning straight into bone meal. So it didn't really need the bigger section, the big long strip there in the middle between the carrots and the wheat. That's now potatoes. And then the, the one on the far side, that's going to be the beet roots. Uh, I also went and set up water streams underneath of all those farms uh, with the uh, the mine carts that are picking up uh, a section in the middle of them and taking them, dropping them off. The uh, potatoes and carrots going down into that same storage room with the wheat. And then we have the uh, beetroots um, are all getting automatically sent over to um, the hoppers after the item filter removing the seeds from the wheat farm. So all of the wheat seeds, the beetroot seeds, and the beets are automatically going into composters and just getting converted to bone meal for me. So it's not uh, it's not super fast, not yet anyways. It was actually going pretty quick for a while um, when it was just the wheat, when all of the villagers already had full inventories so that they were pretty much dropping everything that they had. Um, also, like I did a little bit of research and they're, they're all pretty low on the, uh, the list of things that you get bone meal for, but um, it's still, you know, it's more than we had, it's free and it's automated, so, but yeah. Um, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. We're probably going to need that one too, I'm guessing. Um, well, dang it. So we'll do this number here, and I'll just yeah switch to rockets. That works. All right, let's go check these out. I love how this turned out. This looks so awesome. Oh, the other one more. Yep, way more. Sweet. Okay, let's get back on the wall. Let's see if we can get right, right into the tunnel. There's the tunnel. I, I can't. I just We're circling back for another approach. We got a. We got it. There it is. Ow. Okay, we're good. We didn't take any damage. Uh, you go there, and you go there. Dude. Alright. Now, it definitely looks more appropriately sized. I feel like that was, that was one thing that really kind of disappointed me <laughs> about when I just did the wheat part, because, like, down on the ground, it looked big. And when it was a lake, it looked big, like it was a big part of the map. But then I did the map, the actual map, and it was it was not that much. So, but now, yeah, dude, that's that's a lot. It's just a big old farming section here. It's cool. What is the what? Oh, dang it! All my shulker boxes are right there. Well, I'll fix that later. Anyways, so now. We uh we actually have we have a secret mission that we need to go on. So don't tell anyone. But old man Dolan has been missing for a long time. A long time. And I think it's time that somebody investigates. And by somebody I mean us. So we're gonna put on a mask and we're gonna go sneak around and see what we can find. Okay, guys. All right, there's Dolan's house over there. And you can see the potato farm. It's right over here. I think we're going to start our search right there. We're in the potato farm. And then we're going to sneak our way into the house. I think there's a back door over here. That might be the way to do it. Um, but hopefully we can uncover some evidence a foul play, find a body at least, something, 
He just disappeared. People don't just disappear. Alright, we're gonna put on our camouflage mask. And then we're gonna we're not gonna use rockets. We're gonna glide in low and slow. And then up and then down and then up and then here. So Dolan was on he was on not that long ago. I'm I'm immediately a little bit concerned by how well fertilized these potatoes appear to be. Fertilized with what? Alright, we got anything over here? A bunch of okay, we're just keeping poisonous potatoes. Sounds great. I don't see any I don't I'm he's not on now. But I don't want him to like suddenly be on. Thing. These aren't old man Dolan shoes, are they? Let's try and make our way over to the back door. Interesting. Silk touch that grass block. Put you right back where you were. Isn't there a back door? It's right over here. It's right over here. Don't see anything. Well, that looks familiar. that bottom of his house like all this dirt what is he oh that you know what he just <gasps> wait a minute so dude in his last episode in his last episode he was talking about this was going to be his basement but he didn't feel like working on it right now That's coarse dirt back there. Why is that coarse dirt? What is going on here? I hear something in the building. Uh, okay, that's a weird lighting bug. What? Okay, guys. This is super suspicious. Why is there just a barrel here? Oh no. No, it's it's oh, it's old man Dolan. It's his his rotting flesh and his bones just shoved into this barrel under your house. It's not even a hermetically sealed barrel. I can smell it already. Why would you just have that? Why? What is this? Oh, wow. That is... That is dark. Um... Yeah, wow. Okay, so we're just gonna put this back. Right there. Uh, oh, oh, the smell is horrible. Oh, jeez. I know why you sealed it now, but... Dude! And I mean, you could have buried him outside, but why did you kill him? The book wasn't even signed. We don't have enough evidence. Alright, so apparently there's like a mob gathering over at spawn right now. Let's change our disguise. That's not that's not where that goes. And let's head over to, uh, to spawn really quick. See what's going on over there. I understand some people have had some questions about uh, our taters, so I'm here on behalf of Old Man Dolan, and I'll be answering some questions from the audience for the next few minutes here. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Right here, I got a question. I'm more important. Uh, yeah, you. Is there mercury in your golden taters? 
<laughs> oh, not to worry. All of our taters are ethically sourced and cooked in only the most finest and pristine smokers that Casual Craft has to offer. So, no worries there. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, what's up? Dolan, what's your passion in life? Well, very good question. I'd have to say my biggest passion is probably farming taters. It's just such fulfilling work, you know? Okay, let's see. I have time for one more. Uh, yeah, you with the eye patch, which I assume is what is underneath that skull. Sir, a source close to Dolan Productions claims that you killed your grandfather. What do you have to say about this? Uh... No comment. Uh, All right, guys. So I wanted to. Oh no, wait. I forgot. I gotta show you these clips. That was close. Hold on, one second. Let's go look at those things real quick. Right. Okay. So I told you guys I would show you all of the grindy bits that I've been working on. And here's one of them this giant room and this shall be known as R&D research and development alright so now let's head over here and we'll check out the uh, next grindy bit can I just say that that, that bit of flying was, was pretty awesome and I'm kinda proud of myself uh, which is this way nope maybe come on so we leveled out this entire fortress, uh, and I'm almost done putting the nether brick back in. And what is that? Pants. Blaze, I know you're here somewhere. I saw it. I saw your stupid fireballs. Can I please fly? Can I please fly? Oh, come on, dude. Is it because I have this in my offhand? Is that why? It's looking for somewhere to place it. No, it's just not even clicking the rocket. There we go. Alright, so those those skeletons. Let's go on. There's more skeletons. Uh, this is, um, what's his face's portal? Sorry, sorry. Your name's not what's his face. Your name is, um, um, Bones. Something about Bones. I don't remember. Uh, and so then we also have. What was the other big thing that we've been working on? Uh, oh, right, right, I remember. So we'll just go back through this one, back to the island where we started. <coughs> and, um, great, great. So this will be quick, we'll get down there quick. If we can fly, we will get down there quick. Because it's just right over here. Yeah, this. We've been doing this. Um, getting some of these guys going. And you can see, like, I had a bunch. Had them all full. Went through, cured them once. I had a zombie running on a train here in front of them. And then I was just stopping him with a lever in front of every single one. I did it on stream a little bit. If anybody was there. And then, but so many of these guys despawned. Holy jeez, dude. So, yeah. We're going to have to do a lot of it again. But, um, yeah, so that was that. So anyways, back to the workshop. Let's try this again. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. But wait, 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 wait. Don't go anywhere. So after this little outro bit, I have an extra clip for you. Uh, the little replay mod jobby guy that I did uh, around the farm. I couldn't decide if I wanted to do the one just using the regular textures like I use now. Or if I wanted to do one with like a fancy texture pack and uh, shaders on. So I did both. But I just left the, the one using my normal resource pack in the video. If you want to see the one with shaders, which I think honestly it does look pretty cool, then that's going to be after this, uh, this little outro clip right here where I tell you that if you want to play on this server, then the whitelist application is in the description and it's as well as links to all of the other content creators and you should go check them out because they make super cool videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.
every day And all I wanna do is play But I can't find no one to pay It's not ideal, but ideal I'd like to get some newer things My strap is made of broken strings And no one hears me when I sing It's not ideal, but ideal My chords are tied up in a knot My amp is dead and my speaker's shot And I don't even own the things I've got It's not ideal, but ideal My hands are cold, my arms are tired My voice is weak, my mind is wired I had a real job, but I just got fired It's not ideal, but ideal Cause when life hands you limit You better make some lemonade I guess you could use them for cooking Oh hell, you could sell them and get 